that's something I was thinking about when uh, Sarah and I were kids, like maybe, I mean, every few years we always moved around a lot, but um, not because we were in like, we were like army brats or we were running from the law, mainly from, because my parents like to move a lot, I think. And, um, and we were so into it because we were like weird little freakish OCD kids that like to like, we, like a fun thing to do on Friday nights was to change our bedrooms around. <laughs> So, we were a little socially awkward, but, um, but I remember when we were, I guess we were probably, uh, oh, I don't know, like seven, I think, when we moved into, when, when was it that we moved and, um, but actually mom sent us on a camping trip and we got home, we just had a different house. When was that? <laughs> uh, that was when we were eight, and, okay, eight, it wasn't, yeah. we didn't go camping, grandma and grandpa took us to Velma. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. So um, I guess maybe we knew we were moving, but I don't remember because, and I'm pretty sure that eight, I would remember something like this, but um, we, my mom sent us on this week-long trip with my grandparents to their small town where they grew up, and, um, and we were really sad. It was the first time we'd ever gone away from my mom, and it was all, I know. <laughs> we were like the only kids on earth that didn't want to go to summer camp. Like, I went to like a five-day camp and I cried the whole time. <laughs> I've told that story before, though I'm not allowed to tell it again. But um, anyways, so we went on this trip to Valmarie, Saskatchewan. And Can I just say that Tegan did want to go. Like, if you wanted to, if Tegan was being bad, if you never asked to go. It's true. It's true. I didn't ask to go, but only because I was like, Tegan ruined it. Because if you, instead of saying to Tegan, like, I'm going to take away. Yes! It's okay, I'm fine. Instead of saying, like, I'm going to take yeah. Okay. Hold. Up. You know what happens is that okay. when I was talking, they were listening to me, and as soon as you started talking, they started yelling. So, I, what can I say? I mean, I, just let me tell the rest no. of the story. Oh, wait a second. Why? I just want to say that when Tegan, if you wanted to punish Tegan instead of grounding her, you would just say, Tegan, we're going to send you somewhere where you have to canoe and swim, and you're going to have to sleep in a in a log house with other kids and play with other people. And Tegan would be like, I don't want to. Like she would literally. Cry. It wasn't about all the activities I didn't like. I just didn't. I didn't want to have to leave Sarah or my mom. I know. I have a very odd codependency to them as a young person. Anyways, the point of my story was that one time we went on this trip back to my, where my where my whole family basically grew up and lived, and we went back to see it. And and when we got home, we lived in a new house. And it's kind of like how one time my dad took us ice skating, and when we got home, all of our, our cats had been given away. <laughs> about that. <laughs> I 